Hey guys, it's Dan Arky bringing you the chaos. Saga Chaz here. Goblin Green. And we're here with another movie review. A Yay! new one. Oh, oh As the title may say below, Star Trek Beyond. Oh, the man. third movie to this franchise, now making a trilogy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's. let's so, Beyond. we are not hardcore Star, Star Trek yeah. fans. Fair warning. Yeah. Fair warning. Not, not, yeah, yeah. not, not really. really. Noobs. I mean, yeah. respect it coming into this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. So, if we say anything that offends any Star Trek fans, yeah. sorry. sorry, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Ignorance. Yeah. yeah. Ignorance. And you can leave a comment if you yeah. disagree with something. Inform us. Yeah. Explain it and stuff. Yeah. But okay, so we're here to talk about Star Trek uh, Beyond. Beyond. Yeah. Uh, so plot story. Plot. Okay, so they basically go to a planet and get fucked over. There's a plot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right. Argue can... with that plot summarization. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just kidding. No, okay. Me. So the beginning of the movie shows Kirk uh, talking to an alien species, trying to, you know, create yeah. peace by giving, by them, giving them an ancient piece of a weapon. That's yeah. pretty much all we get to know about this weapon until yeah. the end of the movie. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't happen, so they take it aboard their ship, and they stop at a station. I can't remember what, what was the planet called? I don't give a crap. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I think it was called like some, it was called a weird name, I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> space Station. Space Station. Play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a moon, it's a space station. Yeah. So, so yeah, they go to a space station, space station to refuel. Yeah. And uh, while they're there, we get a little bit of exposition, nothing too great. We get some to see bitch the gay Yeah. 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 Isn't that big of a deal? Relax. Yeah, Relax. but it, the story doesn't really pick up until the fucking bitch fucking yeah, rolls on her right. ship. And we get to see that Spock and that girl from the yeah. second movie they broke up. Yeah, they've broken up. Now. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, and then that? after that, so the they, a girl a girl contacts them and yeah, yeah, yeah. that her whole her ship crashed on a planet and she needs a rescue team. So Starfleet uh, just agrees, and they send uh, Kirk and the Enterprise Everyone. and their crew Everyone. over to save them and help them get the ship up and running. And they get hey, yeah. butt fucked. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Only to find out that she's yeah. in fact it's a trap. It's a trap. What? Star Wars joke in that. Oh <laughs> God, we're gonna hate it. Whatever. You know, it's the two thousands. Relax, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah just that happens. Not the nineties anymore. Uh, so then they crash on the planet. And Enterprise gets destroyed. Yeah, they get stuck to, there. And then find their crew that's yeah, on yeah. the planet. It's captured for no reason. Uh, uh, and that's then a, it's basically a glorified rescue operation. Pretty yeah, much. they yeah. went wrong. Then, yeah, yeah. And then they come back to the space station, and then the fight happens. And, yeah, the villain gets a hold of the weapon and tries to destroy the space station. And, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, it doesn't work. It's like, yeah. I mean... It, Oh, so it's, it's a basis yeah. of it? It's, it's a basic plot. It's, re- it's basically a rescue plot with like a super villain thing at the end. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're going to get into characters. Hey! Gonna... So first character we were Kirk. Doing. Let's do Kirk because he's usually the main character. Now no. compared to the first and second movies, have you guys both seen the first and second ones? Yeah. yeah. Of course. It's the same. Really. But that's the biggest problem with this kind of Kirk in the series has never really changed at all. Like, yeah, I mean, to be fair, way. like from what I've seen in, in well, it has evolved a little bit. I would say from the first to third one because in the first one he just wanted to have fun and he knew. Uh, rat so, yeah, the only thing I would like, say that he kind of evolved in is that like he's he more got, of a leader. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's got, definitely more of a leader now. He was getting like tired of being yeah. on the Enterprise, yeah. right? So he's like, oh, I'm really feeling yeah. it. Uh, and then by the end of it, he's back. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of cool, you know. It's getting a bit, but yeah. I mean, uh, by and large, nothing really too like drastic happens to the character no, that really, nothing. really changes it. No. He, I do like the emotion between him trying to get his, get his crew to safety. I yeah. like that because that's what a captain does. Yeah. Kind of would have liked to see the captain go down with the ship just for fun, you know, because that's the old saying: yeah. the captain goes down with his ship. But, sure. but at the same time, Kirk's my favorite character. Cause, yeah, Chris Pine just nailed yeah. it. Good job, Chris Pine. Okay, Once nice. again, you nailed Spock. Spock. Sparky boy. Again, by and large the same. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. only thing he the only thing is he shows a bit more sparks of humanity. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. he's more in tone with humanity. You even get to see him laugh and smile, guys. Yeah. So get ready for that. And he has to deal with the ambassador Spock dying. That's true. We get to see some emotion there. Uh, okay. Which is kinda cool. And his breakup also. Yes. A little bit of emotion. 
Yeah. It's, it's very interesting. I, I like this actor who plays Spock. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think he does a really good job, like, not only showing emotion, but showing no emotion at all. I think right. it really yeah. works with him. Yeah, and I think he also shows how logical Spock is through character. Yeah. And how he really thinks things through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how he is devoid of humanity, even though he's getting better and better. I also feel like he was more like calculating this. Like yeah, more freaking like. There's like this and this and yeah, that and this. Yeah, exactly. Like, that. like classic Spurk. Yeah. Spurk. Spock. Spurk. 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 Spurk, guys. Spurk. <gasps> okay. And right. then we have Bones, a character who hasn't been that yeah. big for the first and second movie. This is refreshing. Rome has oh, yeah. become a bigger uh, character. To more of a country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's awesome. He had more lines. He's you know great. more invested in the plot. It's cool because you get to see the crew do a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Like we said, it was it was more focused on everyone as opposed to one or two people. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but this was just me personally. I noticed there was a lot more aliens on the crew this time. Yeah, true. Yeah, teams. I feel like they really Very went back true. to the core yeah. of the aliens being on the crew. Sure. But the only problem, I'm sorry. Yeah. The only problem with that is like. They're kind of they're there to die. Yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't die. Not all the aliens died. Yeah, I know, but there was like how many fucking aliens on the ship, and they ended up with forty people. That's yeah. it. Yeah. At least they bothered to put aliens in the room. I'm saying, that, I'm saying, that I, I was saying that they bothered, yeah, yeah, but they did need meat in the room. Okay. All right. The so next character. Now here's where the names. Sulu. Sulu. Let's go. Sulu. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So we got to see him. Because he's married to yeah. his husband. And they did it so subtly. It was yeah, great. they did it so it worked Wonderful. really well. I, <laughs> I wasn't like, oh my god. My god. It was in your face. It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool. Right. I, I read that when they're like, oh, we're going to have him gay. Like, like for Because I think even like George Takei yeah. was like, they thought that he'd be like, hey guys, I'm still like, what's going <laughs> on? No, but it was, it, was, it was done well. Oh, it, yeah. He yeah. didn't take away from the character of the movie. Like, he was still yeah. Sulu. Just just, you get a little bit more backstory with yeah. him. Yeah. Not much, but you know. Get Scotty? Scott, oh, Scotty. Scotty. I feel like he went more Scottish in this one. True, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> he went more Scottish in this one, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, he, he finally did the same. He's a smart, quippy kind of guy. I love him. He used, how, we should have a Lassie count. Oh, uh, yeah, he says Lassie yeah. a lot. Lassie. How many times, yeah. Come with me, Lassie. Lassie, you gotta talk to me. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, she was good. She was good. Oh, yeah. She was good. She was a good, strong character. Yeah. And she'll probably be joining the crew now, which yeah, is cool. She got the yeah, acceptance into yeah. Star Trek. I would have liked a little bit more in her backstory, but, you know. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So much to say, like, she's badass. Like, she has yeah. a cool story. She has a dark story. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I really wish the confrontation between her and that general was more fleshed out. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure. But what can you do? Yeah. And then there, she wasn't really, she wasn't really focused she, on that. Well, she, she was, though, because she was talking to the villain, like, yeah. for half the movie. I guess, like, yeah. You know, we're all well, a yeah. team. And, not as much yeah. as the second one. Really. Yeah. If, if I mean, she did, she did good. She was kind of a good representative yeah. of the mentality. She was. Yeah. Yeah. Starfleet. She's a very good character, yeah, I think, and a very good actress. Yeah. She yeah. plays her role will, really well, yeah. and she doesn't overact, overact or underact or anything like yeah. that. She's just very good. Okay. It's all good. Really? This is where the, Okay. This is it. Now, before we get into his origin and why we don't like the character, now, if if you're a hardcore Star Trek fan and you're watching this... Oh, true. And this and, character was in your shit. Yes, and he was yeah. in the past and stuff. We're sorry to have to yeah. talk about this character this way, but... Yeah. For example, yeah. I'm going to say for example, uh, in a movie, when you're going there, you're not a huge Star Trek fan like myself. Let's say I go to a movie, Star Trek movie, and I'm watching this villain do things... And they're not explaining yeah. to me in the movie why he's doing these things. Then it doesn't work for me as a villain. This guy's uh, the, the the biggest problem with this this villain is it felt like they wanted to do they wanted to they, they gave him too much story and they gave him too much shit to balance and his mm-hmm. motivations were not clear at all. Yeah. I felt like he had he had multiple motivations, none of which made any sense. True. Sure. <laughs> he was but here's the thing though. He was intimidating. He was a cool oh, looking yeah, villain. No, he was right. great. Cool, yeah. I just didn't understand some of the choices they made. Like he absorbs life from people, and then they just never talk yeah, about it. Explain yeah. how he obtained and, that. Like and how he goes from human to alien. Yeah, it's just, like, again, just maybe this has to do. Maybe this is in the classic yeah, exactly. shows oh, yeah. or anything like that. And that's all great. And I'm glad that they had that. And you guys may have enjoyed that. But, but, but it's not explained in the movie. I have no, no idea, idea who Krell is. Sense. I have no. I, okay, so from the from before I've seen this movie to after this movie, I know nothing more about the character. Nothing more. Sure, yeah. I could have. I could have. You could have asked me before this movie 
who Krell is, and I could have given you the same you should, answer you should not at the, the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's just the way. Yeah. I look yeah. At it. If I do, if I can't say anything at the end of the movie after seeing it about the villain, then what's the point? It's what? like Civil War's villain. But the thing is, I was, I was behind this guy. I was like, this guy's cool. But I just the entire time I was wondering why, why, yeah. why, yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. I was like, why is he making these choices? Why is he doing this? How did this happen? How do you get an army? How do you get a bunch of shit? Even when they try to explain it with like the flashback, by the way, no spoilers. Who gives a shit? Anyways, but the flashback, right? It still doesn't really explain anything at all. It's like your former start. But captain. it grips you. It's really interesting and everything. It's just they should have just elaborated on that way more. Yeah, definitely. And again, there were some things that, you know, he wasn't a horrible villain. And his, you know, trying to destroy this one space station, I guess, you know, that's yeah, all dandy. Cool. Okay. But probably because he was a dead. soldier and stuff, and it would have been nice to get some flashbacks or something. Like, in yeah. the first Star Trek, Star Trek, when we're getting the origin of uh, Kirk, yeah. we get yeah. like we get to see him as a kid and I stuff. Bet. I would have liked to see it. This is We get this random captain that we have no idea about, and if he's in the Star Trek movies and episodes we've yeah. before... That's all great, but this is a new franchise, yes. and so new people and fans are mm-hmm. gonna join it. My big, and you gotta explain. My big thing about this is like either he's a human or he's an alien. Yeah, pick one. True. Yeah, they they pick should shoehorn one. this like. Okay, I'm sorry. Like human. Pick one and twist. give it motivation. Don't do two. Don't do a weird yeah. twist. Don't do this. Yeah. Well, the only way I disagree with that, the only reason I would ever disagree with it, is if it's true to the character, and if they explain why. I'm okay with yeah. it being an alien or human, depending on whatever it is. Yeah, I know. Because we don't really know what it is at the end of this movie. Yeah. But if it was explained, then I would have yeah. at least been able to go, okay, I like this, or I don't like no, but yeah. this. My, my perspective goes upon what I've seen. Yeah. Exactly. This is just what I've seen. I know okay. he might be an awesome character, and it might have been amazing if he did that in the show. And you know, it'd be hilarious if he didn't do that in the show yeah. at all. Yeah, that'd be funny. But like, um, if he does, right, it, it was just, it was, it, it wasn't that it's a bad, it wasn't that it's a horrible idea, it was just poorly managed. Oh, yeah, sure. Right? And it could have had potential, but it fell on its face for me. Yeah. Yeah, no. It could have been, yeah, again, because I saw, like, the alien, I thought that was, like, his cool, like, ability yeah. that he had as that species. It was really cool. Yeah. But they just kind of, like... I would like to talk yeah. about something quickly. For me, the movie is long. It's two hours and a half, right? Two and a yeah. half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours. And the biggest problem is the plot is very quick, though. Oh, yeah. The movie yeah. is long, and it takes the short plot that could have probably been told in an hour and a half like, and extends it to yeah, a exactly. two, two and a half there's, there's, hour Yeah, there's three movie. parts of the plot. There's the beginning where they're just doing their own shit, and then there's the one where they get stranded, and then there's the one they finish. Yeah, and yeah that's, that's the beginning, it. middle, and end. Yeah. But the thing is, they, they took this short plot, and they stretched it into oh, yeah, exactly. a three hour and a half movie and that was just personally yeah. for me I don't know if you guys know that yeah. yeah. I, I did feel it's. Uh, I, I did feel in some parts especially in the middle parts it was dragging yeah at sure. uh, the end the beginning and end were good in the middle part there were some parts that were dragging exactly. yeah 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 but most of, I, I wouldn't say it was all dragging yeah, oh, yeah no. but uh, there were parts that was definitely like I could see that this movie was dragging I feel like the best part for flow with this movie was the beginning though yeah. Oh, yeah, the beginning of the movie had a good flow so well and a good yeah, pace going, and then it slowed right yeah, it's down like when they got yeah. stranded. On yeah, as soon as they hit that plot, it's very weird. Because it took a really long time for them to get back and up and rolling. Yeah, you're coming out of this like whole action scene with the ship, the Enterprise mm-hmm. getting destroyed and stuff, and then they just walk. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they manage to run into each other. It, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But whatever you have to have that happen. So. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of oh, what is it called when like uh, they just escape death, just like wounds. Near death experience. I forget. It's called the. Uh, oh, just whatever. Kind of, yeah, I know. But there was a lot of those where they were just like near death experience. Or, yeah, no, 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 that's a no one like the movie. Like, oh, we suddenly ran into you just by oh. coincidence, you know? Yes. Like, yeah. Ooh. It was coincidental. A lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. But uh, a uh, new director, guys, and it still felt like Star Trek movie. You could tell that it was a Fast and Furious director. And yeah, yeah. Was, especially the action scenes. Yes. Yeah, I think and, the biggest oh, scene was the motorcycle scene. I'm like, he really wanted a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. But the thing is, it's like, I mean, I, you know, Kirk rode a motorcycle. Also, yeah. not, not to be picky, it was just me. It pissed me off. It was just some of the dialogue. It was just, yeah. it was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. What? But yeah. the thing is, that's not his fault. Well, it is his fault for directing the yeah, scene. Yeah. But I mean, sometimes... Yeah, that's really nitpicky. Though. Sometimes it's the writing. It's not too. bad, but it's just like, eh. Yeah. 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 Uh, but everyone did their part. I think everyone handled it very well. It felt like a continuation. It felt like a sequel. It felt exactly. like a fit. Yeah. I get um, it. It's, I it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not yeah. bad. So let's compare it to the other two movies because we've all seen all three now. Yeah. Uh, which one is your favorite, Goblin? Yes. 
I haven't seen the first and second in a long time. It's, you know, well, from what you remember, what you from what I remember, I enjoyed the first one. Okay. So I I remembered a lot more stuff in the first one. The second the second one had the whole con thing, but that's pretty okay. much all I remember. So, do you prefer the third or the second one? The third or the second one? Yeah. Which one would you put I in the second? Place? I said I like the. I, I remember I, the first one. I know you do, but it's second and third place. Oh. Um, which, which would you order them by? I think. You know, I think it'd be uh, first, second, third. It'd be right. First movie, second movie, third movie. <laughs> and is it the same for you, or does it change a little? Uh, fuck. Um, You've seen the first and second, right? Um, yeah, no, frick. I don't, yeah, no, I'd say if you have first, second, third. All right, and for me, I, I have to agree. Yeah. The third was excellent, and it was still good. It's just, yeah. the villain was just... Yeah. Oh, my God. God. I oh liked the Romulans, and I liked Khan. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah. this villain just didn't seem yeah, as it's weird. It's just weird. It was really like, it's forced. It's a forced. So movie. comparison, I really like the first one because I like how the story went about. It was really well yeah. written right. story. And you know, it's, we're just kind of lacking that. I liked how it showed Earth and stuff and I feel like we're kind of missing that yeah. in these movies too. Um, I mean like I'm not saying it has to be on Earth but you know, once yeah. in a while, so let's see Earth, or let's see a, yes. a planet, or something. And then, yeah. that was another thing we should talk about, too, is, um, because they're, yeah, uh, so, like, the, the setting. Yeah. Sure, the setting. Yeah. I found, yeah. compared to the other two movies, the mm -hmm. setting was very bland. Yes. I, I feel like we had, t the, the, actually, the only really cool setting was the space station, mm -hmm. because of the gravity kind of thing, and it looked yeah. cool, yeah. but the planet that we spent the majority of the movie on was bland. Yeah. It was just rocks, just rocks and caves, yeah. and that's it. I mean, like, and if you, forests. If you compare it to the second movie at the very beginning, then that was that forest at the very part. beginning. That, that was so very cool, cool with the volcano and the yeah. kind of And there's the reeds cool. that are pink. Exactly. Yeah. That was awesome. awesome. very cool. It was like exciting yeah. and vibrant, and it got me interested exactly. in a hawk. Rocks. This one is <laughs> rocks. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, yeah. No. The uh, setting could have been. Mm -hmm. But the action yeah. scenes, the action scenes, the action scenes were fine. Well done. Uh, yeah. I like how they played Beastie Boys sabotage to sabotage sure, yeah. his team. That was, yeah, that was, that was hilarious. Yeah. Good job, I guys. love the classic ship. Oh, yeah. oh that was great! And the nice little like uh, uh, awesome uh, kind of Easter egg thing is when he like oh, pulls yeah. out the picture. Pulls yeah. that and it's the, guy, it's the original the original cast, cast, team. Cast. Uh, that was so cool. if you guys are original Star Trek fans, one. you'll get a little throwback. Yeah. And that's like, cool. oh yeah, oh. Uh, so I <laughs> yeah. definitely recommend if you're really hardcore Star Trek oh, yeah. fan, you're probably gonna go to it. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, speaking of Spock and stuff, we do guys talk about kind of the deaths associated with this movie too. Because, like, I really felt it that they were basically sending off Leonard Nimoy because he had died, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. It, was, it, was a, it, was a little, it was a little weird to see the check off a little bit. It was yeah, like, it was like, like, oh, it was like, yeah. oh I mean, like, in the scene, you kept, you kept going, oh, check off. No, check off. Yeah. yeah, because if you guys don't know by now, uh, check off the actor Anton. Anton Yelchin, yeah, Yelchin has died. Yeah, he's, he's, he's dead. Gone. This was the final Absolutely. movie he'll ever play in. At least he finished it. And he yeah. got a pretty significant role in this one compared to the other oh, yeah. two. Which is awesome. It was good, good to, see. to see him actually yeah, take... Nice. Like, he actually got some really good scenes in there and stuff. Yeah. And he, he was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it was very well done. I This this movie was kind of sending off. I think it was just kind of weird yeah. to see Anton acting. And we know he's dead because he's already dead. Yeah. Just to see him acting and see him alive. Yeah, it was just, it was cool, but that's, it was weird. That's kind of the creepiest thing about yeah. film, isn't it? Yeah, that, that yeah. is the creepiest thing about the film. And it kind of lingers no. on you throughout the movie. Every scene yeah, he gets, you're yeah. like, you're like, oh man. You know, that's it, that's good. Yeah. No, he did a great job, honestly. All right, rest in peace, yeah. Anton. R.I.P. And Leonard Nimoy. And, and, Leonard. and Leonard. Yes. Jesus. You, you were all, <laughs> you both were great actors. Yeah. And you, you brought us happiness <laughs> and joy throughout our movies. Yeah. Uh, good job. Good job. Live long and prosper. Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. All right, so, so ratings. Yeah, so ratings. I'm going first. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. official, Just official go goblin rating for this movie. Da 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 da. Uh, six out of ten. Why did that one? Six out of ten. Six out of ten for goblin. Six out of ten. Uh, it was fun. It was fine. Uh, but you know, it was just it was very it was a very popcorn movie to me. Yeah. It was a movie where I could eat and watch it and be entertained. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wasn't maybe that's like, oh my god, Say, this shit is going, oh god. It wasn't, it wasn't Batman and exactly. Superman for a Again, <sighs> no. Yeah, it's just, like, yeah. It's it like, wasn't like okay. one of those childhood love movies. Exactly. Where but it's scary. not bad. So, no, Alcatraz. Uh, I'll say 7.6. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Just, it, it's, it's not bad. It's not that amazing either. It's a good time. Yeah. It's a good time. Okay. Exactly. Popcorn movie. 
Okay, yeah. so for me, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go, I'm actually, I think this is crazy, but I think I'm going to agree with Alcatraz. Hey! 7.6. Yeah, this is what i got to go with that. I'm the most harsh one on the panel, I'm hey. sorry. <laughs> well, I, I like the Star Trek movies, so when I was watching it, I, yeah. I love the actors. There you go. I, the, I do agree the villain was bad, but it wasn't any Civil War villain yeah, or anything exactly. like that. Yeah, Civil War still holds the crown yeah, for exactly. worst uh, villain, villain of the year. This year, exactly. yeah. At least this villain did stuff. He was yeah. intimidating yeah. for sure. And and for me, I gave TMNT to uh, like 7.5 or yeah. 4 out of 10. And there's no way Star Trek is worse than TMNT yeah, no. 2 at all. Yeah. So I got out the rating. And it was a good movie. And again, it fun. It also think about it like this way. We, we, have, we don't know shit about Star Trek, right? right? So if you're a Star Trek fan, you can pick out even more Easter eggs. Yeah. And like, oh, look at that. So it might yeah. be even better. We caught the big Easter eggs. Yeah. Like the ones that exactly. are unmissable. The ones that even start, so, yeah. hardcore start, non yeah. hardcore start. So if Trek you're a Star Trek fan, you might find it even better. Yeah. Or really bad. So <laughs> like, comment, yeah. share, enjoy. Yeah. Uh, Come check out all our videos. Yeah. Let us know what stuff. you think. Below. Like them all, Below. too. Like them all. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank God. Go watch and like them all, like please. All of Thank you. Now. Leave, leave comments, criticism, yeah. anything you guys feel yeah. like. Leave please, please tell us. Debate below what you guys think of it. If you guys went to it, what was your least favorite summer movie so far? Yeah. And favorite summer movie? Because for yeah. us, uh, as we've Why been calling it, we're calling it the summer movies of OK. okay. Yeah, the, the summer of OK. Yeah. It's a show And also the summer of mediocre villains. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys.